I'm going to take you back to grade school when you learned about the solar system and we think of it as the sun sort of being the star of the show, right? Our star right in the center of it all as everything rotates around it, including our planet Earth. I bet you didn't know that Jupiter does not orbit around the sun. And the really simple answer for this, simplified way, way down, is that Jupiter is just too big, too massive for this to happen. I will explain more. So here's the essentials. Jupiter orbits around a spot in empty space that's called a barycenter. All the other planets in the solar system, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and so on and so on, outside of Jupiter, basically, orbit around the sun, which has a berry center deep within it, right? Jupiter is so big that it basically evens out that pull between the sun and itself. So it orbits a berry center totally separate than all the other planets that is located above the sun. I know, stay with me here. So all the other planets, just think about that picture right from your textbook back in grade school or from your phone that you're studying right now, whatever the case may be. That being said, some really fun facts about Jupiter because the whole reasoning behind this, we're talking about the enormity of this planet, right? It's the fifth planet from the sun. It's the largest in our solar system. Think of it this way. It is so big that you can literally fit 1,000 300 Earths inside of it. It's famous for the big red spots. A lot of us, I think, are fascinated by Jupiter because of that. And within that spot alone, you can put numerous planet Earths. But that spot is a storm on Jupiter that has been raging for years. So just some fun facts outside of the orbiting fact that I think is going to come as a surprise to a lot of you. So the next time, you know, you're talking about the solar system, the universe, which is a very popular subject, and someone brings it up, you can actually be the superstar at whatever affair you're at and let them know that this is not the case with Jupiter and why. And the other thing that astronomers find really interesting, the sun, I'm going to take this one step further, also orbits around this same berry center as Jupiter, that one that's in empty space above it. It's so, so slight that astronomers are able to pick up a little wobble when they're studying the sun. And so whenever they see that same wobble effect when studying other stars, they're able to make the assumption there's probably a planet the size of Jupiter close by it in our universe. Something you probably didn't know. Hope you enjoyed.